Well, good morning, Warriors. We are live from the quarantine zone. And uh, today's Wednesday, and uh, I've got a, a, a show in store for you. And uh, we've got a speed strength workout. We're going to use really light weights. If you have those at home, you can use your cat or dog if they're small enough. But uh, um, also, you don't need any weights to follow along. We're going to do five minutes of war. This is the actual test. This is what we've been training for for the last month. So we're going to do that. And then um, we're also going to obviously stretch out our hips and, uh, and get a little bit loose from all the sitting and uh, pacing our living rooms that we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. But uh, today's story isn't so much a story as it is a, a message and a challenge. So like right now, there's a lot of uncertainty. And um, a lot of people, including me, are, are stressed out. And people, uh, when they're stressed out, they, they communicate, they, um, they uh, encourage people to um, have the, share their anxiety that they have. And uh, the trolls really come out to play when there's uh, a lot of anxiety in the air. And my, my challenge for you uh, in, in your life and in your network and in your family and in your uh, friend group is to not feed the trolls, meaning uh, not, not sharing information that uh, causes panic and not, um, and not making... Um, making the situation seem more dire or more dramatic than it is. But instead, if you're feeling stressed and you're feeling uh, challenged and you're, uh, uh, and you're worried about yourself and your family, take that energy and put it into checking in on other people and um, spreading kindness and care. A lot, a lot of good happens when you send out that text to, uh, to a friend and check in on them and how their, how their kids are doing and how their, how their parents are doing and, um, and showing them and your, your friends that people care about them and people care about uh, what happens to other folks uh, in the world, in your neighborhood, in your life. And when people feel kindness uh, you know, towards them, it calms them, their nervous system down as well. Uh, it sh shows that the world is a friendly place. This is a tactic actually I'm borrowing from Jane McGonigal, the author of Super Better. Uh, one of the things that she says is she picks up her phone, she scrolls through to the bottom, somebody she hasn't talked to in a while, and then sends them a message saying, hey, how are you? I was thinking of you and uh, just wanted to check in. It's a really simple exercise, but it's really good for you and it's good for the person on the other line or on the other end of the line. So that's my challenge to you, is to send out uh, a text. If you're, if you're hardcore, you'll send out three texts today and check in on somebody else to see how they're doing and to um, spread that love and spread the kindness that we wanna see more of in the world right now. That being said, let's go ahead and get started with our, our workout. We're gonna loosen up for our five minutes of war test and get after it. So I'm gonna come back and um, I'm a little tight from working on the keyboard. So I'm gonna get into a four point position and I'm going to reach across my, uh, my body from my left side to my right and I'm gonna push my, the blade of my hand into the floor and I'm gonna sit my hips back and I'm gonna feel that side body open up and stretch. Breathing, stretching, wow that is tight. All right, so I'm gonna keep reaching that hip back. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Long, slow exhale. You can take a few breaths here and really let that lat open up because I'm, I'm feeling that it's just wanting to stretch. All right, I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna go, switch to the other side. Press into the floor. Reach that hip back, breathe. So I'm stretching, sitting, sitting my hips back, stretching. Breathing in and out. Stretching. Whew. Inhaling through the nose. I feel that my tricep, my lat, Oof, all right. We're gonna continue to stretch and open up because there's, there's a lot of tension going on right now. I'm gonna lie down on the ground. I'm gonna reach my hand out. I'm gonna palm the floor and I'm gonna kick my body over 
my, hip, my hip over to the side, try to put my hip flat on the ground, or my foot flat on the ground, stretching my bicep, my arm, my chest. Whew. Breathing, continuing to breathe. This is an intense one. Oh, so I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I'm reaching over. Huh. This is uh, comically, comically tight. I'm glad we're doing this. Whew. Breathing, I feel that stretch of my bicep, my chest, my abs even, my leg. Some of you Gumby people might not feel it as much, but I have a feeling right now everybody's gonna get something from this. Whew. And then, oh, slowly get up. So we're gonna get on one knee, and I'm gonna do a Cossack stretch, which is a groin and ankle and foot stretch. So I'm on all fours, my foot's kicked out to the side. I'm gonna sit on my hip, rock, forward over my wrist, sit on my hip. My outside leg is straight. I'm gonna rock back and forth 10 times. That's three, four, five. That's good. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then once I get here, I'm gonna do a lift and tap on that leg. One two, three, four, five. I'm just tapping that floor, reaching up as high as I can. Nine, 10. All right. Other side, sitting down, rocking forward, sitting down. Oof. Back and forth. So, I'm gonna go 10 times again on the other side. Again, sitting on that ankle on the back, stretching out that hip. Seven, eight, nine, 10. And then lifting and tapping. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew, when did my leg get so heavy? All right, so we're gonna stretch out the groin and the shoulder for a yoga windmill, and then we're going to warm up for our, our test, actually. So getting into this long lunge, the lead, lead knee is punching forward of the ankle, back leg is straight, pushing backwards. Inside arm is reaching forward. So I'm gonna reach up to the sky, roll that behind me, come back, bend the elbow, Come right back to the ground. Plant, switch legs. Again, lead leg punching forward, back leg straight, inside hip, inside arm, reaching up to the sky, rotating that shoulder back behind me until I become parallel with the floor. Bending that elbow in, dropping it right down to the ground, whack. Switching again, do one more per side. All the way out, through, back, boom. Out, back, drop. Oh. All right, what you're looking to do is to get your push-ups and your sit outs and knee grabs ready for the five minutes of war. Okay, this is a tough test. So I want you to be primed a little bit. So the push up is what we're gonna start with. All the way down, all the way up, feet and knees together. Just give me five perfect reps. Remember using your couch if you need to. Just getting yourself set up. That's where I lift my left leg is what knocks that out. So use your couch if you have to. 
we're going to do a minute of push-ups, followed by 20 seconds of rest, and then 20, a minute of, sorry, a minute of sit-outs. So these are pivoting to the outside, coming back. Go ahead and give me five per side, just to get your, your movement primed, so you're ready to rock. Ha. Sit out. So pivoting to the outside, kicking through, coming back slow as smooth, smooth as fast. Now we're gonna try the knee grab. So you're here, coming all the way in, back down as one. So give me 10 knee grabs really quick, just to get you warmed up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And then if you have a chin up bar at home, you can do, give me five chin ups to uh, get used to or get ready for the chin up test. If you're going to be doing them with me on the ground, we're going to be doing swimmers for a minute. So we're going to be here. Pushing your shoelaces into the floor. Reaching your arms out in front of you, eyes about 12 inches in front, or looking at about 12 inches in front of you, and I'm pulling the water into my chest, swimming, elbows come in tight, hands don't touch the floor, fingers spread, 10 reps here, just to get those chin ups ready, or sorry, those uh, swimmers ready. So, so how this is gonna work, we're gonna do one minute of each. As we go through, as we go through each exercise, we'll have a minute to work. Then we'll have 20 seconds to transition into the following exercise. I will call out how much time we've got so that you don't get lost. We're starting in three, two. We're starting with the push-up and go. One, two, three, four, five. I'll count for myself. You count for you. <laughs> Remember, only the good reps. We want them to look good. If you get tired, you could take a break. You could pause. You could take a knee. Doesn't matter. But I want you to get all good reps. You've got 40 seconds left. That's enough for Francie to get 40 more reps. Let's keep going. <laughs> Feet and knees together. Everything's tight. 30 seconds remaining. All right, taking a break, shaking it out. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, so now you're gonna switch in to your sit out. You have about 10 more seconds. You're gonna get prepped on the floor. You're, on, you're in the four point position. Starting in five, four, three, two. Pivoting the outside foot first. And you're going. Every rep counts. Be consistent, slow and smooth. Smooth is fast. Hand comes into the chest. You don't want to be flailing around. Your feet and hands will want to get further away from you as you train, so you constantly have to correct. Keep going. 20 seconds remaining. Whew. 15 seconds remaining. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Back to the, the uh, knee grab. So I'm here on the ground. Throwing my hands forward, grabbing my shins. Five, four, three, two, 
All the way up, all the way down. Shoulder blades have to touch the ground. Quality over quantity. 40 seconds remaining. Stay focused. Keep moving. It's okay to be tired. You just can't act tired. Focus on the technique of the next rep. Gives you something to worry about besides your heart rate, besides how you don't want to do the next rep. 20 seconds remaining. Keep going, make it look good. 15 seconds. Be strong. 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'm doing the swimmer. Some of you will be doing the chin up. Perfectly fine. Go ahead and get set up. We're starting in five, four, three, two, and go. All right, I'm swimming through the ocean here. Fingertips spread. If you're doing those chin ups, Make sure you're starting from a dead hang. Working your way through your reps. You can rest, but you always have to start at a dead hang. Getting going. We've got 30 seconds left. That's enough time to do a few more quality reps. Keep it up. Whew. This will really Get that heart rate going. Ten seconds remaining. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice. Okay. Now's the time to grab your water. And then make sure you have a weight. If you have weights available at your house, now will be the time. Now will be the time to pick it up. Congratulations, Catlin, on getting your first chin up. You know what that means? You got a lot more chin ups in your future. That's all that means. You can train it now. Okay. So for our speed strength set today, We're gonna do push, push press, bent row, forward lunge, curls, deadlift, bent fly, squat hold to fret press. So I'm gonna pick a very light weight. If you have weights at home, great. If not, you can do this without weight. So, the push press. <clears throat> Feet are about hip width apart. My knees come out on a push press and my butt explodes forward. So I'm popping through the hip, and I'm coming up, following it, coming back down. That's one. So I'm gonna go do 10 right now just to practice. Knees out, squeezing the glutes, almost like I'm hopping up off the floor. Seven, eight, nine, 10, ha. And then I'm doing the bent row. So the bent row is where you're Feet again, about hips width apart, butts all the way back. My hands will be below my knees when I'm in a good rowing position. And then I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together as I pull the elbows straight to the ceiling. I'm gonna do 10 reps, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. Forward lunge. So. I'm gonna do a lunge forward and then come back, lunge forward and then come back. So you're gonna do five per side for your warm up, and then your knee is almost gonna to touch the ground but not quite. Still staying strong, leaning forward, being explosive. That's three. Coming up on four. And then five. So. If that's your forward lunge or curl, 
palms facing forward, coming up and down. Elbows don't move, glutes are on. The only thing that moves is those biceps contracting. Those hands are swinging, but the elbows don't move. 10. And the deadlift. So I'm going to go into that hinge position again. I'm going to come right back out of it, reaching my butt back, squeezing my butt, driving forward. Three, four. We're doing 10. Try to crack a walnut in those butt cheeks. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The bent fly. So I'm here, hinging over, then I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. And then finally, the squat hold to front press. So I'm gonna drop down, hold my squat, Pressing out in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that was our warm up. For our actual circuit, you're gonna go through as quickly as you can. You're gonna do eight reps of everything except for the lunges, where you'll do four per side for a total of eight. So, this is about how good your technique can maintain as you go through something very quickly. So I'm gonna go a little bit at a, a faster pace to start with, and then I'm gonna try, if I feel good, I'll pick up the speed. If I'm not feeling good, if I'm feeling achy, I'm just gonna work on technique. So speed is the sign of success here, not more weight, not more reps. We're doing eight of everything, and uh, we're gonna try and go through and get four sets in uh, of our actual circuit. So we'll begin with the push press. Follow along with me. If you go faster or slower, that's perfectly fine. And we're off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bent row. One, two. Squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, going into the lunge. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Curls, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Deadlift, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Butt fly. One, two, three. Oops, no touching the weights. Four, five, six, seven. Squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top. And then the squat hold the front press. Dropping down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. That was one round. So, for you can gauge yourself as to how challenging that was. It's going to go faster. How easy it was. But uh, I'm going to go a little bit faster. But I'm going to sub out. I've been doing the front, the forward lunge. I'm going to do a reverse lunge and step back. My left knee is bothering me. It seems to bother me less when I do a reverse lunge. So I'm going to try that out. But if I didn't want to do any lunges at all, I might go to a, a squat pattern and just do a squat. So if you're having a knee issue and you want to switch out the exercise, try rotating it to a squat or a reverse lunge, see how that works. Speaking of working, let's go ahead and do our second round. All right, back to push press and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lunges. All right. One, 
two, three, and four. Curl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Deadlift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That fly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then squat hold the front press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ha. Okay. I'm gonna grab some water. Now you've got some idea of how that how that made you feel, how that worked for you. Huh. Okay. Feeling refreshed. The goal of a speed strength day is to increase the nervous system's ability to turn something on and off. The nervous system is like the electrical system of a house. So if you think about when everything's wired and you flip the switch, the light turns on in your living room. But in your brain, there's often a lot of time when you tell your body to do something and when it happens. What we're doing is we're greasing that switch, we're flipping that switch on and off, trying to decrease the time that it takes for your brain to communicate to your muscles. So we are speeding up the, the rate of motor unit recruitment. It's not, it's not fancy as you can see, but it's very, very effective. So if you don't have any weights at home, you're still getting all the value out of this exercise just by turning a movement pattern on and off. We wanna keep that work going with high quality. If you've got weights, great, that's awesome. More fun for you, more of a metabolic demand. Speaking of demand, let's get back into it. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And bent row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the lunges. And I'm doing a power lunge now. Three, four. Curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Coming into the deadlift. Eight. Switching it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Belt fly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and squat hold the front press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew, all right. That was quick. That was quick and fun. So, now that you're getting warmed up, you're feeling better, you can go through this a little bit faster. Maybe you also, you can modify the exercise. If you need a break too, you can rest longer than I do. You can pause this video at home. You don't have to go anywhere. I'm gonna continue at a pace to get, to get a good training effect and uh, finish on time for our audience. But uh, remember, you can always pause this while you're watching it, when you're watching your VHS tape at home. So with that being said, last set. I heard you, Chris, I heard you say it. All right, and we're off. One, two, three, four, five. Getting that full extension. Six, seven, eight to the bent row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the lunge. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. Curl, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Deadlift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That fly. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Moving into the squat, hold the front press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> awesome. So, as you're uh, calming down from your speed strength workout, we're going to do a couple of abs, quick ab finisher for funsies. I'll let you get situated. We're going to do some bicycle crunches, and then we're going to do some plank marches. So the bicycle crunch is highly mobile. Plank march is pretty static with a little bit of work from your hips while you're doing it. Both of these exercises target all the muscles of the core, so it's a great combination. We're going to go, we're going to do 10 sets of each. What does that mean? So if you're doing the bicycle, or 10 reps, sorry. If you're doing the bicycle, every other one is one. So you're going to do 10 reps here, pedaling all the way out, all the way in. And the plank march, you're going to, every other foot is, that's one, hips and chest at the same height, two, three. So we're going to do three sets of 10 apiece back to back to back to back without any rest. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but we're gonna really roast, up, roast the abs and set our day up for success. So, good work on the war, good work on the speed strength. Let's finish this strong and tackle the day. Hi, Lucette. Hi, Lucette. All right, so we're here, and bicycle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, rolling over, and one, two, three. Notice my hips and shoulders are the same height. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Back to the bicycle, and one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Second set of the plank march. Dropping it down. One, two, three, four. Almost home. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ha ha. Last set. It is strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pike march. Bring it on home. We're marching home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Woo! All right. Everything is awesome. Nice work, everybody. That is a very successful day. How'd that feel? Skip because I usually skip Wednesdays because I'm always afraid the speed thing, and they're like, No, it's the first of the month. I had 23 workouts last month over 19 days. I'm gonna start the month, but that wasn't too bad. That wasn't so scary, so yeah, that was great. Whew. I think we're all uh, we're all ready to tackle the kids and the leaders and the trolls today. Yeah, play the dragon. That's right. We're all in a game of Zelda where there's, where there's, you know, demons or dragons around every corner. So, yep. Got to put on your Zelda outfit and mindset. I like it. That's a great reframe. 
He had to collect the jewels. He had to uh, uh, slay the dragons. Exactly. Uh, well, all right. Well, let's do it. All right, warriors. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Lucy. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.